He's uh, capitalizing on my clients and stealing my clients. I was super blessed with the opportunity to be at this watch event, let alone actually meet Kevin O'Leary. Last year, he did two million in revenue in this company. It was four million. Four million bucks. Are you into sneakers at all? Welcome back to Behind the Hype, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and stay until the end of the video to see what you could win for absolutely free. So Finley, you came all the way from where? London. And how long have you been looking for these? I've been looking for these for around two years, and this is the first shop where I've seen them for a reasonable price. And honestly, they look really good on your feet. I'm really happy you got them and you're here on vacation. I see you got those. Your mom got you a Crep Protect kit so you can clean your shoes, but you need a pair of crease guards. I got you. You spent a lot of money here the other day. I'm gonna pay for it and I'll buy you the crease protectors, okay? This young man came all the way from London just to get a pair of J's. So I felt like it was my duty to set him up with a pair of force fields. If you're gonna rock J's, don't crease them. On suede, it's not that big of a deal, but since these are baby blue, you're gonna see the creasing if you walk in them often and like you do something like this or you go up the stairs, it's gonna crease just like on mine because the lighter the color, the easier it is to see the crease. You definitely need these. And you can take them out and you can put them in other shoes. Here you go. This kid coming into the store reminded me so much of myself when I was younger. I had such a passion for sneakers. Now knowing what I know, I thought it was the best thing to do to give him some advice on the shoe game. There's a trick. If you buy three, if you buy four, your pair can come out for free. You're still gonna have to pay for your pair, but if you sell three other ones, the profit can pay for your pair. So that's what I started doing in order to keep buying shoes. Go to some conventions, talk to your friends. Your collection will grow. We have to have patience. Literally try with everybody's phone. That's what I did. I would literally have my mom's phone, my brother's phone, my grandma's phone, my aunt's phone. Every Everybody's phone would be on the app and I'd just be trying to get the shoe, like bum bum bum, pressing the button. Real sneakerheads, come on, y'all know what's up. You have my info, you have the store's info, you can always reach out. Boom, there we go. These are brand new. What are these, Jordan yeah, 34s? Jordan 34, yeah. What were you looking for price-wise for these? I don't know how much they go for. Let me see what they go for and let me give you an offer right now. Jordan 34s. Size this guy brought these shoes in and unfortunately, we just don't buy shoes that don't sell. It's a cool shoe, but unfortunately, yeah, we just don't think we could sell it in the store. It was worth a shot for him. Hopefully we'll get some more sneakerheads that like stuff like this because this is pretty cool to see. You don't see it often, but we wouldn't be able to sell it in here. All right, guys, so we are here at Barracudas once more, and it is time for Wings and Tings. This time, we got Gilly with us. What up, what up? And Yuri, of course. Yuri, I'm going to actually let you start it off this time. We got the Jordan 1 Wash Pink. What are we thinking about those? I think if it was a year ago, this shoe would be $300. We got a lot of those, actually. Mother's Day is coming up. It's a women's Jordan 1. It's all pink. I think it's going to do really well a month from now. I think this is a very underrated shoe. What do you think, Gilly? I like the Wash Pink. I like that denim feel. I think it's a nice quality shoe, but again, like you were saying about a year ago, because they've made so many Jordan one, so many colorways. That's why the price point's so low. So I mean, hopefully we can move it. What are we gonna price it out at the store? Low twos, mid twos, something like that. The one definitely fell off and it got replaced by the Jordan 4, especially this year. Or the dunks. I don't know, this reminds me of Hyper Royal, reminds me of a Turbo Green, which have all done super good in the past. In my opinion, this shoe is gonna go up in value, closer to 300 in six months time. We got Jordan 1 Low, Travis Scott Olive. Super, super anticipated release. Are we gonna get a lot? Never know, we'll know, we'll, we'll know tomorrow. Release date tomorrow, 26th of April. Super anticipated release, obviously any Travis Scott shoe, immediately sells out, resells for who knows what. I've been getting a lot of offers early on these, like a bunch of them, in only smaller sizes though. They are cheaper than Travis Scott's normally sell for, I have to say. They're going for like five now. Yeah, are Travis Scott shoes dead? Did Travis Scott fall off? I personally don't think so, but prices seem to be falling and the new releases, either they're making more or people don't with them as well. Rank all the lows in order from best to worst. Oh. Best reverse mocha, second best the OGs, third best the Phantom, fourth best the Fragment, fifth best those. You put so yeah, Fragment I fourth? I don't agree with that list. Fragments yeah, are ugly. All right, I'm gonna go Reverse Mocha, Fragment, OG, the Olives, and then Phantom Black. You don't like Phantoms? I don't know. I'm just not a fan of like black shoes. Wizards 3s suck. Ass. Our retro threes, fives, sixes, sevens, eights, nines, tens have the bed for the last year or two. This one especially. I've seen early pairs that are under retail already. This happens to almost every retro recently. They're getting backdoored in mass quantities and no one really wants them and they're going for under retail. L shoe. Lucky Green Jordan 1 Low. Another shoe that's been backdoored the fuck out of early. Ugly L shoe. What do you think about the regular Thunder 4s that just came out as exclusive access? The yellow Thunder? Yeah. Fire. 4s always go up over time. I think that shoe will easily touch 400 sooner or later, maybe even 5. Time. That's a classic four. And it's like he said, it's a restock. It's a it's a re-release of an older model. So people are definitely gonna want it. And I think we're gonna be carrying those at Miami. Carritos SB Dunks. They've been rumored for so long. They're finally coming out in May. I think the release date, the 4th of May. They don't look like the mock-ups, but they're still cool. And I think they're gonna be a major banger in Miami. New essentials drop, hit the bed. I go ways. Honestly. Yeah. The newest newer stuff they've been releasing. I don't know why they do this stuff. The grays, the blacks, the creams, all those colors, they know those work with the small logo. But they release other stuff. These all they're like 
ugly like plum and green colorways. Like no one wants that. We, we want the classic regular Essential Fear God logo. That will always sell. A black Essentials hoodie will always sell. I can tell you that for sure. I've sold thousands of Essentials and I know that for sure. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about Eric Emanuel. All right, we just got a lot of shorts in. Summer, he starts to pump a lot of shorts. Through the winter, he does like thermals, hoodies, sweatpants, occasional shorts. But in the summer, every week it's a new type of short. And yeah, we've just been getting a lot. All We have all the new releases that are good in the store now. We have a few more on the way. And in bulk. If you guys need shorts in bulk, we have Eric Emanuel on lock. I thought it was gonna be a fad that lasted maybe a year or two and it would kind of fade, but people are still asking for it every single day. I wonder at what point does Eric Emanuel become dead? If you go to meshshorts.com, they redirect to EE. He even has that domain, so. If you go to the design district, they have an Eric Emanuel store there and they literally have maybe two or three shorts available at a time in bad colors and only in like size XL and double XL. If you want some fire ass Eric Emanuel shorts, we probably have the best selection in all of Miami, including better than Eric Emanuel himself. If you're a sneaker store owner or you wholesale sneakers, you buy them in bulk, you want to buy them to customize them, you want to do anything with sneakers in bulk or clothing in bulk, contact us, we'll hook it up. We got a warehouse in PA full of goods and we can hook it up. Guys, let us know if you enjoyed this kind of segment in our videos. We did it once before, it's our second time. We made it a little more fast paced this time. So if you learned something, if you find this valuable, comment down below, please. We'll do it. Again. All right, guys, you already know what time it is. About to pick the winner of this week's giveaway. We got, looks like, just under 100 comments. Here we go. Size medium for the shorts at Fabio Pereira. Congratulations. You are the winner. You did all the steps. So you're going to get a pair of shorts for absolutely free. We're going to DM you. Hopefully, you respond in 24 hours and we'll give you a call. Hey! Congratulations. I just want to give you a call and let you know you won the Eric Emanuel shorts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love How'd you find out about our YouTube channel? Oh, my dad. Oh, my dad. <laughs> all right, cool. I really appreciate you. Thank you. You want to say what's up to YouTube? Yeah, I like that. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. We're going to send you a link to check them out for free, all right? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye. It's literally that easy, guys. There was under 100 comments this time. He probably took one minute out of his day to enter the giveaway. And you want a pair of shorts for absolutely free. Now, now back, back to the video. video. So this weekend's actually F1 weekend. Super exciting. Obviously, we got Formula One, the actual event. But around that, there's always a ton of events, parties, etc. So we're going to be going to my dad's event tonight. We're going to be showcasing a bunch of really expensive watches. I'm going to chop it up with some cool people, some rich people, show them some shoes and see what we can do. Should we bring multiples in the ones we do have multiples in? Fuck. It's the styrofoam. It kind of gets yellowed a little bit. It happens with all off-white shoes. I guess this one was out, so yeah, the sun probably. Maybe just the air. I don't know what it is. Honestly, I think you can deoxidize it. I think there's a way to fix that. I'll send a picture to my client. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pairs of shoes. I think this is enough. Oh, the boots! The boots! We forgot the boots! All right, guys, we're here at the LB event, the private event here in Miami. Today, my dad doesn't actually know this, but we're gifting him a brand new pair of Tiffany Air Force Ones. Figured it was pretty on brand for what we got today. We got high-end watches, high-end jewelry. Super excited to meet some people and give these away. Yuri, what's going on? I forgot we had this event. Nah, just... What? Why are we wearing... I didn't get the f***ing memo, all right? We walk in and everyone's wearing a suit. What the f***? I'm wearing a t-shirt and a pair of shorts. Say hello to your father. I, I, you were probably running around. Yo, fire. What do we got on feet right now? You know, my uh, good friend who owns... Yeah, it must be nice. He was like, hey, do you want these? And I'm like, I don't know, do I? That's Adam Menta. He's actually a Miami local, and he's also a watch dealer that specializes in vintage watches. Super cool, so I'm going to link him below. You guys should check him out. Uh, you seen these yet? What do you think it is? Oh, it's going to go with the watch. Oh, s***. Oh man. I've always been a watch enthusiast and some of the watches at this event were blowing my mind. What do you think? Yeah. I got the I, Tiffany silver on the back. Now I need to match the strap with this to match that. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah. It's a white strap. Does it come on white laces or no? no? It does, yeah. Oh, it does? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it does. You can do the white laces so I can match the strap as well. That's Sick. Yeah. What do you rate them? One to ten. A lot of sponsors in the building as well. MPH Club, a car rental company located in Miami. Definitely check them out. I mean, to be honest, I was not a big fan when they first came out, and then I like saw them in person, and I was like, okay, they actually paid attention to the details. Like, just, they made a Black Air Force One actually cool, because like I, I haven't seen any cool Black Air Force Does this One. This means you get into fights. This means you're gonna fight. No, this is outside. you're like classy. You're, you're classy. Out. Ten. You wanna try it out? Maybe. I think we have them at the store for like fifteen hundred, but I could do like thirteen hundred. Yeah, yeah, of course. Take a look. Have you seen these? in person before? No. No? They're, they're so sick. And the best part, I love the, the Tiffany on the, the little silver on the back. It's so cool. We originally planned to gift these to my dad, but within the first three minutes, someone actually asked to purchase them. This wasn't part of the plan. I was literally walking over this way. He goes, wait, what size? He tries them on. He goes, all right, I'll take them. He's uh, capitalizing on my clients and stealing my clients. I'm supposed to be selling watches at this event. He's selling sneakers. Yeah, I wasn't even here to sell sneakers, just to display, but listen, you got to make a sale. You got to make a sale. Have you ever seen these? No. It's a collaboration between Travis Scott, Fragment, and Nike. How do they fit? A little tight. So you'd be like a 10 and a half. You'll find them a pair of shoes. 
We're trying to get a size first. Cash on the spot, sold, gave him a little discount, showed love to the people over here. We gotta get more of these. I think everyone's been eyeing these. I mean, we haven't shown the other ones yet, but it's a watch event, it's jewelry. People are gonna see the Tiffany and they're gonna love it. So Marcus, I'm not really connected with these. If I wear these, are people gonna know what they are? Not really. 100%. Oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. In the sneaker world, people will 100% know what that is. And just like that, we already have a second person trying to purchase a different grail. The Jordan 1 Low Travis Scott Fragment. All right, I'll take these at a 10 and a half. We just sold like $4,000 of shoes in like three minutes. I didn't even expect to sell some shoes here, but I was super blessed with the opportunity to be at this watch event, let alone actually meet Kevin O'Leary. With my son, Marcus. How's it going? I'm extremely proud because this young child's been running his business since he was 17 years old. He's been financially independent since he was 15. And last year, he did $2 million in revenue in this company. It was $4 million. $4 million. I apologize. $4 million. $4 million bucks? As someone who grew up watching Shark Tank, it was crazy to see Kevin be impressed by our numbers. And he started his business with $2,000, and I never gave him a penny. You're doing secondary market access. Same as him, just sneakers. Watches, sneakers, same thing. Are you into sneakers at all? No, no, I, I just do product. It's a crazy market to buy. You no, know, it's funny. There's actually not that many stores there. It's crazy to think. Like, it's, it's, it's all online. I think that's uh, the next location. What do you think? I just opened a store in Miami. I'm gonna bother you one time. Do you mind if I get a picture? Yes. All right, let's do it. Thank you. Cool. I appreciate it. It was nice to meet you. Thank you, Kevin. I'm Marcus's partner, Yuri. Thank you. So, my friend, what did you think of the event? How did it go? What I don't understand is that you came up with the purpose of creating content and asking people about sneakers. By the time you got through the hallway, you sold them. We were gonna show people sneakers. But we couldn't even get them out the box before people were asking to buy them. Well, all my clients know you, and you kind of came in so my thunder, I'd be able to be honest with you. But nevertheless, I'm glad you got to meet some of my clients. They'll know who you are, obviously. What did you think of the event? It was good before Kevin O'Leary came in. I'm not gonna lie. After he came in, it was amazing. I'm not gonna lie. My problem with Kevin is that usually people in the room want to take pictures with me, and then when he showed up, nobody wanted to take pictures with me anymore. I'm so sorry to hear that. His ego was hurt a little bit. Super dope event. I can definitely see myself doing something like this in the future. Mr. Wonderful, I better see you there. I appreciate the hospitality, sir. It was a great event. Thank you, Roman. Cool. Great event. I'm glad you guys came. We give away something for absolutely free to one of you viewers every single week. If you guys want to win a Dunk Low Racer Blue this week, make sure you follow all the instructions below, and we'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.